What's up guys, Denver Gamer back, and today we are looking at 2D Fighters for the PlayStation 2. I have got 10 games, I've got Japan and North America here. Let's check it out. Denver Gamer! Well, I hope you guys like my intro there. This is Denver Gamer, and in this video we are gonna focus on more of hidden gems and obscure games that are 2D Fighters for the PlayStation 2. Uh, one of the ones I picked is actually common knowledge, but I'll be pointing that out. Um, but the focus on this is really to do imports and maybe some games you haven't heard of. So I definitely recommend Virtual Fighter 4, Tekken, Soul Calibur, uh, games like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Those are all great games. But again, we're going to take a deep dive into some of the games you might not have heard of. And there is no order to these games. These are just 10 games I happen to have in my collection. So if you do like my video, please leave a comment, leave a like. I'd be honored if you would subscribe and you can always hit that bell for notifications. Let's get into it. Hokuto no Ken. This game is definitely one of my favorite 2D fighters. This is Hokuto no Ken, also known as Fist of the North Star. For PlayStation 2, it was released exclusively in Japan. It was developed by Arc System Works in 2003, and it's just beautiful. It's got hand-drawn backgrounds, beautiful sprite work. The soundtrack is killer. Just listen to this. <laughs> the time of retribution. Battle one. Decide the destiny. This game will bring a lot of nostalgia and is a great throwback for Hokuto no Ken fans. From what I understand, it was actually a manga. It's about 30 years old. I've never really uh, gotten into it, actually, but it sounds pretty cool. Now, I guess the only complaint would be about this game is there's not a lot of characters, but hey, Street Fighter 2 didn't have a lot of characters, and uh, that's really getting nitpicky. The hits have impact, it's high-paced action, and it's just awesome for a 2D fighter. Definitely worth checking out. Compilation Game Collectors Rejoice! This is the Vampire Darkstalkers Collection by Capcom, released in 2005. This was released exclusively in Japan and includes all five Vampire Darkstalkers arcade games ported to the PS2. This game is also full of tons of secrets unlockables, and stuff that, after all my research, turned out to be very, very obscure and information that was hard to find. If you have never played Darkstalkers before, it is awesome. You are basically fighting with monsters like Frankenstein, Dracula, um, there's like Morrigan, who's like a bat girl, whatever she is, mummies. It is just such a weird fighting game and it works. It's just so cool. Now, out of all the games I'm going to recommend today, I would think this would take the first spot because, come on, it's got five games and a bunch of unlockables. Besides, where else are you going to find Red Riding Hood with an Uzi? So, the Rumblefish is kind of an odd duck. It was developed by Dimps and released in 2005, another Japanese exclusive. Now, I don't think that this is the best fighter on this list, but it does have pretty solid gameplay. I think where this game actually lacks is the character design. I don't think any of these characters really stand out. But again, the gameplay is solid, the music's alright, and if you're a hardcore fan of 2D fighters, I think you should definitely pick this one up. Side note, everybody, the best character to play with is by far the fat old guy named Boyd. Here is a game that got a North American release and it's called Arcana Heart. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is what I would classify as a schoolgirl fighter. Yes, you get to pick from an all-female cast of giddy schoolgirls. Some of them are actually kind of creepy. And then you get to pick your Arcana, which is basically a summon ability for your fighter to use during combat. 
This game also introduced a dash system. And what the dash system did would allow you to hit X and use a dash to cancel your move or use a counterattack. This game is said to be a very good port of the original, but unfortunately it didn't have great sales in the United States, and I would consider it a hidden gem. Let's head back over to Japan, and this is the sequel to Arcana Heart, Sugoi Arcana Heart 2. This added a bunch of new characters. It's still the all-female cast with all their wacky, kind of weird, just in some ways creepy characters, like I said before. And it's still a pretty awesome game. Uh, in this version, they added a mech, a nun, a girl and a wolf. It's just getting kind of that Japanese craziness. And they also added three new ways to attack during fighting. So some kind of gameplay and fight mechanics as well were added. And it's just a really good follow-up and sequel to the game. Now, I read that there was some slowdown in the port. I really didn't experience that or notice it. I just had fun playing it. And uh, I definitely recommend picking this up along with Arcana Heart 1 and putting it in your collection. So if you are watching this video, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have heard of Samurai Showdown. Well, Samurai Showdown has a distant cousin called Last Blade. And what SNK did with their online Neo Geo collection that they did for the PlayStation 2 in Japan was add this bundle of Last Blade 1 and 2 exclusively released in Japan. This is a 2D fighter with weapons, but what I really like about this game is that there is a sense of death when you beat your opponent. According to the story, these samurai that you face off against actually die, and with the animations, you literally cut them in half sometimes when you win. I'm not sure what it costs now, but I got my copy recently off of eBay for fairly cheap, so definitely pick this one up. I know, I know, this is not a hidden gem or obscure game, but hear me out here. I really like the Street Fighter Alpha Anthology released for PS2, and here's why. There was a 30th anniversary collection, yes, you were thinking to yourself, what about the PS4 and Xbox One 30th anniversary collection? Well, on the Street Fighter Alpha Anthology for PS2, it has Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix. This is a fantastic uh, chibi character game with super deformed characters. Uh, it is just a blast to play. And on top of that, did you know that there's two hidden games in this that are unlockable? There is Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper and Hyper Street Fighter that you can unlock, as well as characters, outfits, levels, or stages, and many other things. This is a must buy and you can get it for pretty cheap. So at this time, SNK was busy re-releasing all their stuff on the PlayStation 2 and they decided to put together Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, which meshed together all their games into one big fighter. Literally, you have characters from King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, Samurai Showdown, World Heroes, Metal Slug, Last Blade, and other games. And they meshed them all together into this one game so you could fight them all against each other. This is definitely a must purchase in my book. It is available in Europe, Japan, and North America, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. And last I checked, it wasn't that expensive. So again, guys, Go find this game. You will have a blast if you are a 2D fighter fan. Here is another kind of odd one for you. This is Spectral vs. Generation. And this was released in Japan and Europe, and I have the PAL release myself. This is basically a crossover game of two turn-based strategy games. Spectral Force for the PlayStation 1, and Generation of Chaos for the PlayStation 2. This is definitely a hidden gem, and I have a modded PlayStation 2 to play some of these imports, 
And when I first started playing this, I noticed that, wow, the gameplay is really sluggish. Well, I then went into the options menu and flipped on 60 hertz instead of the default 50 hertz that the game was set to. And that made all the difference. The fighting was much more enjoyable, much more fluid, and it was faster and just awesome. I'm still not uh, fully educated on what's up with the 50 hertz and PAL, but basically their TVs uh, are at 50 frames or, or hertz, which is about 50 frames per second is what the TV can handle. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys can educate me in the comments about it, but um, changing that in this game really made it much better. Last but not least, we have, from SNK again, Fun Super Combo. This is a combination of two games, Savage Rain and Kazuna Encounter. The first game, Savage Rain, you have weapons and fight on two planes, so you can literally jump back and forth between planes. I think that is such an awesome mechanic. The second game, Kazuna Encounter, doesn't have the two planes, but it does have tag team battle mechanics you can switch out your players during gameplay. So this is just an obscure game I thought you guys would like. I know it was recently released by Limited Run on a PS4, but if you are a hardcore PS2 collector like me and you want to get it for the PS2, I thought you might like to know. So there you go. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I really enjoyed sharing this with you. I do plan on making at least one more. Hopefully, we can get two. So in the comments, please put in there what other 2D fighters you know of for the PS2. I think I have most of them researched, but I would love to find more that I haven't heard of before. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next video.